in the last video we learnt how to complete the square for quadratic expressions where a equals 1. In this video we're going to try some slightly harder ones where a isn't 1 and see how the method differs. Let me write out the expression that we're given here. So we're trying to complete the square for 2x squared plus 16x minus 6. What you can do is we want to make the number in front of the x squared 1. Because we've got 2x squared here, we can take out the 2. So we can say 2 and then put things in brackets. So we've got 2 times. Now we've got to think what will make this equal to this first line. So if we put in here x squared and divide everything here by 2, so plus 8x minus 3, hopefully you can see that this line is the same as this line. Because if you multiply this out, you get 2x squared plus 2 times 8 is 16 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. So that's the same. Now what you do is you do the method we've just done for this bit inside the bracket. But you've got to keep the 2 here all the time. So this equals 2. We've got this big bracket here. And what we did before, we're going to complete the square on this section here. So this gives us x. So we do our usual bracket x, close bracket, squared. We put half of this term in front of the x, so that's plus 4. We chuck on the bit at the end, that's minus 3. And then we minus this number squared, so minus 4 squared. So this equals, so remember this 2 always outside, or 2, big bracket. So this bracket is over everything, x plus 4 squared minus 3 minus 4 squared, which is 16. This equals 2 lots, so I'm keeping this 2 out there for the moment, x plus 4, all squared, minus 3 minus 16, so that's going to be minus 19. And we're almost there, um, but we've got this 2 outside this big bracket, so we can now multiply everything by 2 inside the bracket. So we can write that as 2 lots of x plus 4, squared minus 2 times 19, which is 38. So 2 times minus 19 is minus 38. So that <laughs> is our answer. So the way to deal with a number in front of the x squared is to factor it out, take it out of everything um, and work with it outside a bracket and then use the normal method inside the bracket before multiplying it out again at the end. Let's try one more question like that. Complete the square for minus 3x squared plus 12x minus 7. So again, I'm going to write out the question because it's a bit more complicated. So minus 3x squared plus 12x minus 7. So we want to just have 1 in front of the x squared to use our method. So we can take out minus 3. So if we put minus 3 outside the brackets, we're dividing everything here by minus 3 now. So we can write x squared minus 4x plus 7 over 3. So just take a moment to make sure you're happy that this line is the same as this. So if you expand this out, you get minus 3x squared, minus 3 times minus 4x is plus 12x, minus 3 times 7 over 3 is going to give us minus 7. So don't worry, there's a fraction there. Sometimes that happens when you complete the square, but it's okay, fractions we can work with. So this line is the same. Now let's write, so we're going to complete the square using our original method inside this bracket and keep this minus 3 outside. So we do a bracket, x, leave the space, bracket, squared, half of minus 4 is minus 2. Then we're checking on the term at the end, which is plus 7 over 3. Then we're minusing, because we always minus here, um, this number, 2 squared, so minus 2 squared. Um, and remember to keep this big bracket because this minus 3 is times all of this. Um, let's simplify that. So we've got x minus 2 squared. So we've got plus 7 over 3 minus 4. Okay, so here what we did before was we simplified this together and combined these terms and then times everything by minus 3. But because we have a fraction, we can actually times um, everything by minus 3 now, and I think that will make things easier. So if we exp um, expand these brackets, times everything by minus 3, so we get minus 3 times x minus 2 squared, 
minus three times plus seven over three will give us minus seven, minus three times minus four is plus 12. And then minus three times x minus two squared, minus seven plus 12 is gonna give us plus five. So that is our answer. And once again, if you want, you can check this by um, expanding this side out and checking it's the same as that. But that looks really good. Okay, so now you know how to complete the square for both the cases where a equals one and where a is not one. Now you can do both of these things. I would recommend watching my video on how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square and also how to use this completing the square method to help you with sketching quadratic graphs. Thanks for watching. Here's another video I think you'll like. Here's another video YouTube thinks you'll like. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Who knows? If you like this video and want to see more aesthetic massy videos, do check out my channel and subscribe.